I guess I'll go back to my channel. So I don't know if it's just me, but like, are we having a really good year music-wise so far? Not that 2022 was particularly bad in any ways, but this 2023 has a little bit of something special to it. Or maybe it's just me who'd like to think that way. We are like, what, three months in this new year and we have been served with quite some amazing comebacks and debut in music in general. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I am extremely uh, optimistic about this comeback. But then again, let me be completely straight up with you. Kai is like in my top five of my favorite, you know, solo male artist. So while I always try to remain as unbiased as possible, which, you know, <laughs> emphasis on the word try because I don't think I am that successful as a being unbiased. So yeah, let me warn you right off the bat. If you're looking for maybe perhaps a unbiased um, reaction and commentary, I don't think you're gonna find it here. Though what you might find today is me once again trying not to lose my complete mind in front of camera uh, because it is embarrassing. By the way, out of topic, but shout out to you if you recognize the top that I'm wearing right now because Yes, you guessed it. I am partnering up with Fashion Single once again to bring you a code, which is GZB Kpop that is going to last until the end of the month uh, for you guys to use on their website. And for those who are still not aware of what Fashion Single is, it is basically a website where you can find article of clothing, or like accessories or whatever that idols have been seen wearing. And so if you want to replicate an outfit or if you want to be on theme for a concert or another example, if you want to do like a dance cover and like recreate an outfit that the idol has been wearing, Wearing, then you can actually find some of their clothing over there. They actually offer quite a large variety of, you know, options and everything on their website from quite a lot of groups. So if you'd like to take a look, I will be leaving a link in the description box below. And just so you know, they ship almost everywhere in the world and they offer free shipping for orders that are over $60. So yeah, everything will be in the description box below. The code again is GZBKPOP and it will last until the end of the month. So, you know, you can already start browsing a little bit on their website and if you find something that you can order before the end of the month. So yeah, thank you very much to Fashion Single for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to Kai now. Just one last thing before getting into music video. I just wanted to talk about how conceptually interesting his pictures, like teaser pictures were. I feel like in a way, Kai as a solo artist is both incredibly classic, but also so avant-garde at the same time. I don't know how these two go hand in hand, but it somehow makes sense for him. I guess, like I said, like don't, expect me not to give you an unbiased reaction because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that today. But I'm gonna try not to get ahead of myself. Should we? Yeah, should, should I? Let's do that. Anyways, Atlas. Isn't there like an Atlas in like that Colleen Rover movie or whatever? No, book? I feel like I've seen this somewhere. On book talk, you know? Anyways, captions are on Rover, let's go. The bleached eyebrows. Mm, the melanin. We love to see that. Yeah. Oh, that you do. Dude, SM with that weird animated. Oh. There's a lot of things I wish for.
I almost don't want to look at the screen because his gaze is a little bit too intense. Sir? Like once I get over how hot he is in here, I will start really enjoying this song. Give me a second, okay? I'll get there. Ooh, that I am focused, sir. made me think of the way he just flew himself back you know that meme with like Won Young you know that sometime could love time oh my god okay anyways I think I put all of my energy in trying not to scream and so <laughs> I think I had out of body experience I think I think Ah, uh, okay. I told you to give me a second, all right? I'll get there. No, I, I am already dead. No, wait. Uh, uh. <laughs> Let me try to explain myself. It's just like my face and my expression and just my whole entire body did not necessarily look like it. But like I said, I think it's just... Dude, this man, he's got like every time, every time he was stomping his foot on beat with like the rover, rover. Rover. It, it really felt like he was stomping on me. Like I know it's outdated, maybe perhaps to say like step on me and I wouldn't even mind. I would thank you. Even if it's outdated, I will say it. Because I truly believe it with the whole entirety of my soul. <laughs> this song has got a drilling effect, if that makes sense. Like I said, because it's got a stomping effect. Sorry, my mind just went a place that is not YouTube friendly. Anyways, because because of the repetitiveness of the song and how we kept on like, you know, stomping, it really did feel like it was like somehow drilling it in my head. I said, this is such like a different vibe. Mm -hmm. and, and Peaches had like this very, definitely more slow and sensual approach to it, but the, the sensuality was always like S tier. Here too, that's the thing, right? That's just like his whole aura. That's his entire persona. Like that's who he is as a person, I feel like. And it doesn't matter what concept or what song he's doing. He will always ooze that sensual hot charisma. If that makes sense, I would maybe describe him as like a, not like a blazing hot fire, but you know, once the char charcoal has been burned and there's no fire left, but it's just like the fumes and, and it's just like red, bright red charcoal. You know what I mean? I feel like that's him. It's that, that it's got that slow burn to it. Ooh, I think that's a great way to describe him as, a, as an artist. He is the definition of a slow burn, but so incredibly impactful. Do you know what I mean? So like the biggest difference that exists between the, the music video that he put out in songs and this, is a genre because otherwise the charisma is still there the sensuality is still there the intensity in his gaze is still there it's almost like because his eyes are so intense it feels like there's this hovering effect over you like the person who's watching this and it's intimidating for sure <laughs> okay i've got like a serious question do you prefer him with dark hair or bleach blonde hair this tint of blonde on him makes his melanin pop so much more like we can all agree he is a god right he is gorgeous but this blonde hair on him makes him look so absolutely gorgeous like he's glowing right here to me like he's this golden hue is absolutely gorgeous on him <laughs> I think 
one thing that sets him apart from maybe other solo artists out there. And it's not me like, you know, shitting on the other solo artists, not at all. Just from a performance standpoint, I feel like, I guess I would say that he is a performer that is alive and makes his performance come to life. It's like he is a very multi-dimensional performer. And so even the little detail that he adds naturally to his performance adds something special. Why when you watch him perform on stage, it doesn't feel flat. And that's why it never gets boring. It never, never gets boring to watch him. This is kind of like the 2023 version of do you want to come over and eat ramen? Do you know what I mean? I mean, no, like he's not even asking. He's just like inviting himself. I'm coming over in my rover. Yeah. This look, I swear to God, this look. I don't think I've said this before. His voice matches his face and his artistry and everything. Does that make sense? Yeah, this man. Right off the bat, I can tell you that I find this more catchy than Peaches. This just got like a completely different vibe to the two previous ones, so I don't even think it's fair to compare them, but... Okay, I'm gonna give you a little hard time, all right? Bring mm -hmm, Peaches and this. That's, that's, that's my little challenge to you guys right there. <laughs> I'm actually giving you that task because I am unable to choose for myself. So, yes. The K in Kai stands for king. I just know that this song is going to keep on replaying in my head over and over again the whole entire day in the day after. Like, I'm telling you, this year feels different. This year, the song, Kai is just like the embodiment of spicy cinnamon. That's it. Yep. Yeah, I warned you at the beginning, right? would probably not manage to remain unbiased and yeah i warned you i will <laughs> anyways i'm gonna wrap it up here uh, otherwise i'm gonna keep on like rumbling about how much i think he's an amazing artist so yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one bye